was kind of like the Hulk in MCU, the initial Hulk in the first Avengers movie when both Bruce Banner and Hulk had a hand on the wheel. That's why I feel like with him right now because his nav mesh animator is basically something, nav mesh agent, right? That's something that's made for him to move around on the ground, basically, um, according to how the um, ground is set up for any given map. But and he is something that Manif Agent is basically agent. It means it's like a sub AI, an AI system for uh, NPCs to to move or navigate the map. Okay, like AI for pathfinding. But it also works for player characters. You have to have that set up for player characters in order to have his foot his foot walking implement when he moves across the map. And his walking animation. You have to have a nav mesh agent in order for that to work. That scripts goes to the hierarchy and connects to his uh, nav mesh animator. Unfortunately, if you give it too much control, it starts acting weird and it's going way too much on its own script. And I'm fighting for control of it right now. And that's only started when I put in a script for him to be more grounded. I mean, I increased the gravity like 10 times. And I don't know why that's a factor, but it is because ever since I implemented that, he tends to like go a little buck wild and have to fight for control of him all the time. The most time I have control of him is when he's jumping, which tell speaks volumes because you notice when I made him be grounded more with more gravity, but when he is grounded, the nav mesh agent goes buck wild and keeps fighting me. And basically, I can just control him more for as far as his movement when I jump and then tap tap the directions. I can. I, direct him in midair when he's doing a superman punch or a hop which is fucking weird so i may just do some experiments and take off the, that gravity script i put on there because it's fucking things up in a way in a way look at it's more clean and professional but also it's fucking it up and as you can see she's chucking safina's middle center of the screen and she's chucking the fireballs like crazy and they're hitting something in the distance and exploding which is kind of cool they're hitting nothing actually, just exploding over the time. Because what is there to actually hit there? I'm gonna put in, I'm gonna add some caveats to the script, like one by one, to make your target look at row of cylinders over there. You see on the um, right side of the screen, because that's what a real target is. Your target is either wolf or that row of cylinders. Cause that's all the object of the game is for one player to be shooting, throwing balls at that those rows of cylinders and my player to be throwing Eileen's at that stack of um, cubes that are floating there on the right. On the left, excuse me, it seems a um, stack of uh, cubes and they're floating there. Um, and it's Chicago Lynch and those Eileen clones. That's my objective. But uh, I need to take off a spin. I see that pile of uh, cubes there. They're supposed to be the same size as the ones that are floating, but. I was just scaling the size or whatever, and it got scaled down, and I added too much rigid body physics.